Now our original series project home and an unusual state of the state address from Governor Newsom today. He devoted the entire speech to housing and homelessness. Susie Steinwell takes a look at the changes the governor says he wants to see right away. Let's call it what it is. It's a disgrace. Ordinarily, the state of the state is a time for the governor to reflect on California's successes. Today, Governor Gavin Newsom instead focused on where California is failing, on homelessness and housing. The state of California can no longer treat homelessness and housing insecurity as someone else's problem. Buried below, you know, other priorities that are much easier to win or better suited for sound bites. It's our responsibility and it must be the top of our agenda. The governor intends to back that promise with a $1 billion commitment to combat homelessness. He asked the legislature to approve $750 million for a new statewide housing fund and promised long-term sustainable revenue for affordable housing, which some in Sacramento believe translates to tax hikes. He also emphasized the need to see homelessness as a health crisis. Doctors should be able to write prescriptions for housing the same way they do for insulin and antibiotics. He's also talking about homelessness as a mental health crisis, asking for an expansion of conservatorship laws, which could force homeless individuals with severe mental health issues into treatment. It's time to match our big-hearted empathy with tight-fisted accountability. Newsom also blamed the Trump administration for proposing an $8.6 million cut from housing and urban development funds and pushed local cities to build now. I, I respect local control, but not at the cost of creating a two California class system, not at the cost of imperiling the California dream. And that's what we're doing. Throughout, he remained optimistic, pointing to solutions like FEMA trailers, which are being dispatched statewide to house the homeless and identified 286 properties of vacant state land that will also house homeless solutions. The message overall, we can do this, but we can't wait a minute longer. I don't think homelessness can be solved. I know that homelessness can be solved. The governor also had a clear message to local leaders calling for sort of a use it or lose it policy, essentially saying take action, spend your money wisely, or the state will step in and spend it for you. It's amazing. Um, we heard the governor is also promising a homelessness database. What do we know about that? Not a lot of details, but it's something that we were really <coughs> curious about because we don't have a lot of information about how contractors are spending their money. We don't even know how many encampments there are in so many cities. So if there was sort of a track of how people return to homelessness, that would be really interesting data that we certainly would be interested in. Hmm. It was promised today, so we'll see. <coughs> A lot of organization. This has really risen to the top of consciousness. It needs the state of the state speech, the entire speech. That was amazing, the whole speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is amazing. Susie, thank you for that. <coughs> well, keep sending your stories and your ideas to Project Home at CBS.com and see all of Susie's reporting on our website, Brian.